Hello everyone, this is Jesus Mejia and this is my talk about uh, metaheuristic.jl towards any optimization. Uh, Metaheuristics is a framework that contains uh, metaheuristics for hard optimization problems. Uh, the different paradigms for, of optimization optimizers include uh, evolutionary algorithms, uh, swarm intelligence methods, and view inspired optimizers, for example, ECA, JS. JSA and, and, and more and metaheuristic is suitable for constraint and multi many and by level optimization so we can solve a different kind of problems optimization problems by using the same package so this is the this is why I am presenting presenting you this now let's move to the installation the, the instruction for installation are very very simple because uh, we only need to use one command uh, if you open the Julia RPL and press to open the package prompt now we only need to use the add command and the package uh, or equivalently we are, we can use the the pack the pay the pkg API so we we import the package the, the package manager and add uh, the meteoristics package and now we are able to optimize anything we wanted to optimize. So the main features of, of, of metaheuristics.jl is that contains a, a consistent API. Uh, we, we, uh, there is a method called optimize, which requires three parameters, uh, the objective function, the boundaries for the decision variables, and the optimizer or the method for optimization. Uh, a lot of a lot of optimization methods are implemented in metaheuristics over 15, uh, which, which can solve uh, multi-many and single optimization problems. Also include constraint handling strategies to handle uh, equality and inequality constraints. Uh, it support a single, multi, and many objective optimization problems. Also, some uh, scalable test problems are implemented to test uh, the metaheuristics. Uh, some visualization uh, strategies are implemented uh, via Unicode plots to visualize some results uh, in, a, in, in some charts, which is very convenient uh, to, to study the results and, and many other uh, features about the optimization problems or, and the results of the of the optimization process. Also implements uh, metaheuristic indicators to assess the performance of the algorithms and, and also a uh, multi-criteria decision making, making is implemented uh, to, to perform a posterior decision making after the optimization process and yeah. <clears throat> with a very, very, very simple uh, interface. Those are the main the main features. Now let's move to a quick start. Let's assume that we want to minimize this this uh, this objective function uh, where the decision variables are, are bounded in this in this space. And let's assume that we are working in a five-dimensional problem. And the optimization process is only only requires three lines to to implement the optimization problem and uh, optimize the and find an, a minimum for this problem. So to do that, well, this is the, Im the implementation of the objective function, a very, very, uh, very simple definition. And the boundaries are defined uh, using this, this line. Uh, each, uh, the low boundaries are uh, in the first row and the second row contain the upper bounds. So this is how the boundaries are defined. So to obtain results, uh, we need to optimize, use uh, optimize this objective function, and uh, this is the boundaries for the uh, for, for the decision variables. And after the when the optimizer is found on a minimum, the, the results is reported. So this is how how we obtain the result. Uh, this is the minimum found is a zero and this is the minimizer. 
and this is the the basic information about the results and now we move to the to the to the analysis of the results uh, to obtain the minimizer we need to we use this method minimizer and the results also the minimum is obtained uh, this minimizer which is uh, zero which uh, is the exact minimum for this problem for this very very simple pro uh, example about we, since we are using meteoristic uh, most meteoristic are based uh, uh, are population based method uh, usually we want to know uh, information about the population we, we need to only call this this line and some information about the population is is shown within this chart uh, with this is a box plot since the optimizer found an optimum a converged to an optimum uh, which is the zero uh, the fit the fitness function uh, uh, found these these results and sometimes we are going to know why our optimis optimizer uh, finished or, or stopped uh, we can use this method to know wh what's the reason and the reason is the for this example is the small differences of the ejection function values was obtained so this is the the most important method that you wanted to to know about the optim uh, about the results however uh, we since we are using a uh, the default method uh, we can also use a different maturistic implemented in, in this package so we can we can select a different maturistic from uh, from the available optimizers in maturistic uh, here are some some of them and if you visit the documentation in the in the section of the algorithms we can see uh, these uh, the, the implemented algorithms uh, what kind of obje objective uh, function can can handle, for example, for single optimization, multi-objective optimization, many objective optimization, and also bi-level optimization. Uh, please visit the documentation for, for more information about the about the, the optimizers. <clears throat> so let's let's change uh, the optimizer. Let's assume that we want to use uh, I don't know PSO particle storm optimization. We only need to pass the the parameters but also we can you we can only change uh, this this value let's assume that we can we want to use i don't know differential evolution and we only need to uh, change this value and any uh, and the rest of the parameters are the same uh, that that is we need to we we don't have to change the objective function neither the boundaries only the optimizers very it's very very easy to to optimize with a different maturistic. I don't know if we wanted to use a simula simulated annealing, we can use only change this and the optimizer is, is performed. And remember, it's very important to know that uh, you need to use, you only uh, have to use a maturistic algorithms when the exact methods can be used and uh, that's very interesting it's very important because maturistic are the last option for for optimize a problem so when you are when you have a, a very complicated problem then you need to use maturistic then you can use maturistic but it's the last last option so first use exact method and if the exact method fails or you wanted more uh, a more, more sophisticated maturistic algorithm well, you can move to maturistic so that's that's how you can use a different uh, optimizer. Now we move to to the information and options. Usually, uh, uh, meteoristics have its own parameters. However, you can uh, however there are uh, common options and information about the problem about the about the budget for the optim optimization process. So you can use the common options using these these parameters you can use the options api so you can uh, select the, the the how many times you want to call the objective function if you want to fix a, a seed for the random generator if you want an f tolerance for the when the optimum is is known so for the for the <clears throat> for example in above we can provide the information. We know that the optimum is is in zero. However, we wanted to know how what what is the optimizer, which is the optimizer. So, 
we need to provide options and information. Remember the optimizer, every, every optimizer, each optimizer in Meteoristic, in Meteoristics uh, requires its own parameters, but also the options and the information. And let's define this option, this information, and op optimize by changing the default parameter, the default options. For example, we we are on we are using ECA and with the new options and the information. So uh, we wanted a, an accuracy around this value, and the the accuracy was was obtained as 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 shown within this top reason. Mm, but if you wanted to use a different optimizer, let's let's change it and the, the results change because we are changing the optimizer so the, if we move to a let's run again this 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 cell the optimizer is the same because uh, the seed is fixed but if you if we use a different seed the results can change if we move to the last seed the the change the same this is very useful for uh, to reproduce results which because a uh, maturistic are, are stochastic and now we now we now we know how to change options common options and and information about the optimization problem mm, now let's move to the constraint optimization let's assume that we want to minimize this objective function subject to this constraint the implementation is very very easy it's the same three lines well, uh, three cells in this example uh, we have the objective function this is the objective <clears throat> the objective function this is the the first constraint the quality constraint the, the inequality constraint this is the equality constraint since we are not considering equality we only need to move to put uh, zero to this value and that's all that we need to do for the quality constraints and the result, the return, we need to return the objective value, uh, the constraint, the set of constraints, and for the quality and the inequality constraint, the order is important too for, <clears throat> for metaheuristics. And the bones for the con this constraint problem, this is the lower bones and the upper bones. And it's time to optimize, remember optimize objective function the boundaries for the optimization problems and the optimizer we are here we are using the differential evolution only for this example and as we can see the optimizer is found because the minimum is zero this is the minimum of this the, minimis, the minimizer of this problem and the last population in the during uh, after the the optimization process found that every solution in the population was feasible which is which is nice that's what that's what in general we wanted to, to obtain and now uh, this is what happened when, when we have a constraint however what happened when we need to optimize multiple cons multiple objectives that are in conflict so let's move to multi multi-objective optimization so a multi-objective optimization problems aims to so, uh, aims to minimize multiple conflicting objectives simultaneously which means that we have an, an objective function with multiple objective function here so uh, those uh, uh, objectives are in conflict that is when we minimize this objective function this is maximizing and uh, the solution of, um, of a multi-objective optimization problem is a set of optimums because we need uh, because a trade-off of a trade-off is is performed so uh, in this in this case uh, in multi-objective optimization we need to find a, a pareto optimal front a set of of non-dominated solution and the available uh, methods for multi-objective optimization in metaheuristic.jl uh, we have a more more uh, m o e a d also we have uh, nsj2 nsj3 sms imoa spia2 and and many other and and another optimizer <clears throat> for multi-objective um now let's move to an example 
uh, the same. We ne we only need to define three 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 the, the objective function, the boundaries, and the uh, and, and the optimization and the optimization process in this part. So uh, to define uh, and multi objective problem, we need to define the first objective, the second objective, uh, the inequality constraints, the quality constraints, and return this, those values. The vector containing each value of the uh, of the object of each objective, uh, the inequality constraints, and the equality constraints. This is the boundaries, and we are going to optimize this uh, objective function, this multi-objective objective function, this multi-objective function uh, in those bounds and using this optimizer and the shade tool, which is very popular in, in multi-objective optimization. Uh, there's, and regarding the results, we, we observe that this is the output for this, this problem. This is the uh, Pareto optimal front. As you can see, it's very easy to know how how is the solution? Uh, how are the solutions distributed in the F space, which is very very useful only for for visualization and analyze the results. If if we obtain a very interesting uh, Pareto front or not, this is the the non-dominated solution in the population, and as we can see, uh, the final population found that every solution is feasible, and the stop reason is that the maximum maximum number of iteration was exceeded. Um, this is the most important stuff about multi-objective optimization in, in, <clears throat> in using metaheuristics. So now, when, as we can see, we have a set of optimal solutions. However, we need to, we, it's commonly that uh, we need only, we only need a solution, a single solution. So that's why multi decision making was, uh, can be used. So multi decision making uh, has to be performed after an optimist an optimized reported uh, a set of not non-dominated solutions. So this is the set of non-dominated solutions found in the last in the last step. So we need to provide some preferences to perform uh, decision making about the preferences for the first objective and the preferences for the second objective. And very easy to to perform decision making in metaheuristic. We use the best. Uh, we need to choose the best alternative uh, based on these preferences regarding to the results of the of of the uh, multi objective optimizer. But we we use these preferences. And for example, we are here. Let's use the compromise programming using this scalarizing function. And the best alternative uh, in this population is this objective which is in this in this decision vector and very easy as you can see uh, here you can change the method and th you can change the method <clears throat> uh, there, there's a, a very very complete uh, method called uh, jmcdm which is a package for multiple decision making developed by by this uh, by these people and many many methods that have been implemented there and many of them have been interfaced in metaheuristics.jl and the main method uh, to use decision making in metaheuristic is this method which use the <clears throat> the data or the Pareto optimal front the preferences at the the decision making strategy there is a a lot of implemented method there. For example, those here, and the default method is the Topsys method, which is a very simple <clears throat> and very useful uh, decision making. Now, let's move to the multi criteria, the performance indicators. Before uh, we move to performance indicator, please uh, remember that the, in documentation there's a lot of examples. Uh, in the examples, there are uh, the uh, well, the, the here there are the, the algorithms. However, in the examples, we we can uh, see a lot of of the most common uh, features are presented here in the in the examples. For example, the constraint optimization, multi-objective optimization, how to use bi-level optimization and metaheuristics, uh, decision making, 
uh, when you need to provide initial initial solution for optimizer, uh, but evaluation for parallel computing, and a lot of examples. <clears throat> there are also uh, some tutorials are are also developed in the documentation. So please visit the the this part for more information about the package because uh, a lot of stuff is also implemented but not presented in the in this in this part so now let's move to the performance indicators usually performance indica indicators are used to assess the algorithm performance uh, particularly to to measure the quality of solution in multi-objective optimization for example sometimes we need to know how far from the op Pareto optimal front the solution are are uh, distributed but uh, some uh, decision uh, some performance indicators have been implemented in metaheuristics in this part uh, in here uh, the general uh, generational distance inverted generational distance spacing indicator covering indicator hyper volume delta p and the epsilon indicator so please visit for visit this uh, this part for more example about the performance indicator mm. Also, some test programs have been implemented in, in metaheuristics only for testing the algorithm. Some algorithms, for example, we, we need to, to use this, this method. Uh, the result is the objective function, the boundaries, and the Pareto, for example, here the Pareto optimal front. And to, to test, for, for example, SPA2, we optimize the objective function, the boundaries, and the speed. Very, very, very easy and very intuitive to use the there's the test problems and the optimizer and now let's move to the conclusions and the future work uh, metaheuristics uh, can be used for different uh, to solve different kind of optimization problems it uh, contains a uh, challenging benchmark problems for testing algorithms some visualization some visualization features uh, multi-criteria decision making strategies also some performance indicators has have been implemented in this package as part of uh, uh, the future work in, uh, includes uh, uh, implement island-based optimization for distributed algorithms, uh, some visualization recipes for plots and uh, for for package for, for example, plots or or Makey, uh, methods for trivial comparison among, among algorithms, and many more, uh, and, and add more optimizers in metaheuristics. And thank you very much for your attention. Please uh, feel free to contact contact me uh, via my Twitter or opening an issue in 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 a repo on GitHub or on going to my 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 homepage uh, to know more about about me and and the work I am I am doing. And thank you very much. And that that's it.